There are people who love them. There are people who can't watch them. Horror films get strong reactions. And this week, one of them will be opening an international women in film festival. On tonight's Only in Canada, we take you to Vancouver, where Duncan McHugh introduces us to a director with a fondness for fright. She adores furry cats and long walks on the beach. So many are surprised to discover she directs horror movies. Most people say you're way too happy, but you know, I have a place to put wherever I, like, my darkest bits. Make no mistake, darkness lurks in Karen Lamb's mind. Ever since her childhood in Brandon, Manitoba, bonding with her dad, watching revenge fantasies and creature features. He took me to Jaws. Um, I think that was one of my first films. And um, like I asked him about why he would take me to Jaws when I was five. And he said, well, you really like fish. She would become a lawyer, but never lost her passion for film. She wound up producing, then directing horror movies. It's a male dominated genre that suits her fine. I grew up in a town where I was one of the few Chinese people as well. So I guess I'm used to, and I'm maybe most comfortable where there's not a lot of me. I think he totally likes you. And he doesn't have a ring on his finger, so you two could totally date. I doubt it. Why not? Her movies definitely have a feminist twist, and they're not your typical chick flicks. Jesus! Hey, you want a ride? Her latest, Evangeline, the tale of a girl murdered by frat boys who returns from the grave to wreak revenge. We may have forgotten, but it hasn't. A fantasy inspired by real life crime in BC. When I look at something like Picton and I look at the Highway of, of, of Tears, it's this constant butchery of women again and again. And, you know, there's a serial killer on the loose. And I think that was the, the impetus for, for Evangeline. It, it was, what if there was a killer who would hunt other killers? And our end credits are so much better now. As Evangeline hits the festival circuit, she's busy on her next script, and it's bound to be terrifying. I really love that thing where, you know, you put your hands up around your face and you can't, you just don't think you can watch any more of it, and then you do. Brace yourself. Revenge never looked so, um, sweet. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver. Karen Lamb's movie, Evangeline, is opening at the Vancouver International Women in Film Festival on Thursday. The festival is time to coincide with International Women's Day on Saturday. The festival will showcase 33 films from established and emerging women filmmakers from around the world. If you have an idea for Only in Canada, we want to hear from you. Just go to our webpage, cbcnews.ca/thenational, to send us your ideas, photos, and videos.